Essential Machine, 
and the camera's on me, here they are, on camera three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Essential Machine, who just played a song called The Outsider. And uh, before we go any further, do you want to introduce yourselves? Sure. I'm RJ. I am Robert. And I'm Karen. And RJ, you're on guitar and vocals. Yep. Rob, you're on uh, keys. keys and vocals. Yeah. And Karen, you're on drums, drums? and no vocals. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Formerly a vocalist, yeah. So uh, you just played a song called The Outsider. The Outsider is from what uh, release? It's from Poison Control. Uh, which came uh, out when? Last EP, which came out in January. In January of 2018. No, actually, did it come out in January? Mm-hmm. It yeah, did? Okay. so yeah. this year, a couple months old. Yes. Uh, and the EP, uh, as opposed to, how many releases do you have all together? Five. You have five. Mm -hmm. And they're all available? Online. Online where? Anywhere you want. Anywhere. Anywhere if I, so if I go to hughshows.com, they're going to gonna be on the front page. <laughs> they might be. Splashed. See that? <laughs> yeah. You didn't even know, did you? Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> Talk about a hijack. See? Yeah. Now you do. So we can find you. Uh, you have a website, essentialmachine.com. Yeah. And Spotify and Apple Music and Band SoundCloud. Yep. Bandcamp. What do you prefer? I prefer, I, I just got uh, Spotify for my daughter. Oh, cool. And so I got a premium mm -hmm. one. I love it. We used to have Spotify. And mm -hmm. then when we got Apple iPhones, the deal they gave us was a lot less than Spotify. And even though we liked Spotify a little bit more, Apple, this is a few years ago. They've come around. It's a little bit better now. But it, it, Spotify's still, cool, man. They got all the playlists on there and they stuff. They didn't give us a deal. We Apple, just got, yeah. <laughs> we just got all kind of. <laughs> I have to talk to John. He was just here, too. Yeah, we got the family deal, so we ended up going to Apple Music, and we like it. We listen to it every day. I mean, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I mean, pretty, uh, Spotify's pretty awesome, and, it you is. know, not for the artists, though, right. I guess. Yeah. You know, that Peter Frampton, 150 million uh, streams, and he gets a, a grand or something. Yeah. Crazy. So uh, you're a family band. You're uh, married, and this is your son. And, yes. Yep. Uh, that's awesome. Like, uh, did you, like, I have kids, and they play... Uh, music, but I'd never forced it on them. It was just attrition. Like you never like, Rob, you gotta do this, or did they? No, <laughs> you can no. tell us now. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. no, it definitely wasn't. I was definitely into music at, at a young age. So, and whenever they started playing music together, you know, once I was old enough to, to, to do stuff, I was kind of like, hey, like I wanna like. So how old do some were stuff. you? I was like 13, 14, whenever I first yeah. played our, my first few yeah, shows 13. with you guys. Yeah, because yeah, it was really about four years ago that yeah. he really, he kind of, he worked his way in. And at first it was just maybe like coming up for a song or two. Yeah, okay. like some organ sounds yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. then it just kind of organically just happened that it was like, well, I remember when we were getting pictures, we were going to do some pictures for the band. And we were like, well, Robert needs to be in the pictures because he's like, in the band now, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so that yeah. kind of made it official, yeah, when he was. And it's funny, 14. I just told you, uh, it popped up on my Facebook mm -hmm. uh, memories. Today was the picture of you at uh, Ides, yeah. and so that was four years ago. Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. yeah. It's incredible. So, it was that long ago? Right? Yeah, isn't it? Time flies. <laughs> Doesn't feel mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're definitely in the band now, and uh, you're still in high school. Yeah, I'm yeah. going into my senior year. Nice. So is my daughter. Right on. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. Where you go? And you live in Greensburg. Correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what's, is it called Greensburg High School? Greensburg or? Salem. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Greensburg Salem. Didn't they name that after a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> or Winston Salem. Well, well, Salem, we merged with like some town called Salem, Salem that's Township, like yeah. Oh, okay. Ways away. Okay. Both. I, but did, 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 am I correct? Winston Salem? Do you ever hear of that? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. isn't that what so happened? That's where all the cigarettes are made. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a town. No, but is, is the high school near here? Yeah. I mean, we're going off topic, but what I, <laughs> what I heard was the kids were like, hey, the students get to name the school, and so they all smoked cigarettes, so they called it Winston-Salem. I don't think so. I don't no? know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to look into that. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. look into that. So, <laughs> and uh, how long have you been playing and writing? And, uh, I've been, I started playing guitar when I was 13, and okay. it was basically because I wanted to be in a band. I had been taking piano for a couple of years. I would started playing piano when I was about 11, but I was playing classical piano, and I really was interested in writing songs. Mm -hmm. And I tried a little bit on the piano, but it really didn't feel as natural, and I, you know, all my rock star idols were all playing guitar and singing, you know, and stuff, so yeah. I wanted to start a band, so I grabbed my dad's electric guitar and started, you know, Jamming learning out. some chords. Yeah, and, you know, doing the three thing. chords and the truth. And exactly. uh, are we talking Greensburg, or do you, where do this you? This is in Florida. I'm, I'm from Florida. I was born and raised in, in Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida, and yeah. what? The armpit uh, of the world. What, the what? The armpit of the world. <laughs> I thought that was Carnegie. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been to Sat Naples yet. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Take a uh, drive. <laughs> I'm only really kidding, I'm, I might be showing a movie at yeah. Carnegie. Right. <laughs> yeah, Carnegie's right. lovely. Uh, but uh, <laughs> what made you move to Pennsylvania? I'll 
send that over to Karen. <laughs> yeah, it was me. I, I brought him up here because, well, I'm from the area originally. I grew up in Fayette County. And okay. so when I graduated from college, I went to Pitt Greensburg. And um, my sister lived in Florida. I have an older sister who was down there. So when I graduated, I just wanted to get out of the area. You know, I just wanted to leave PA. And the only person I knew <laughs> that lived in another state was down in Florida. So I actually moved to the Tampa St. Pete area. And here RJ had moved to the Tampa St. Pete area as okay. well and from Naples. And so we ended up meeting at work there. We worked for a credit card company um, answering the phones. Oh, and that's so the worst. <laughs> it was the worst. It was Felicity definitely was not the worst. They were just answering incoming answer. calls. Oh. Yeah, so it was customer service, but yeah. it was the, you know, it was not always like the happy customer service stuff. It was <laughs> like the complaints and all that right, sort right, of thing. Right. And so, and that's where we met and, you know, obviously got together and then this guy showed up. Nice. And then um, in 2007, we just decided to move. Well, I, I always say we decided to move back up. It was me moving back up. I was bringing them up here for the first time, but we just decided to come up and be back in the area and be closer to my family and also just, just to be closer. You know, it's kind of isolating to live in Florida because you are just so far south. You're so far from... Yeah, no matter where you're Even Georgia right. is like a you know, yeah. four to five hour drive away. And, and we always thought, well, it would, you know, so many more opportunities if we were up here to maybe see mm -hmm. more things and maybe travel. And for the music, I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. It's like the best thing we could have done yeah. coming uh, up to the I mean, Pittsburgh area to be musicians. Better. So absolutely be and, happier. And, and not only Pittsburgh, but even Greensburg. Uh, my last show, I had uh, Leanna from Diamond oh, Chase. Yes, of oh, yeah. And her and Matt were on, and she's from Greensburg. But yeah, uh, yeah Greensburg is like the, 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 the little sister or mm -hmm. of uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh, but there's a thriving music scene there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. amazing, you know? And well, it, it was pretty awesome for me, you know, coming I had played shows in Florida for a long time, you know, at that point when Karen and I got together, and um, it was amazing to see the difference when I came to Pittsburgh. There's, you know, Florida, unless you really have lived in Florida, it's hard to imagine, especially if you're from here. You know, there's a lot of community here. For everything from, you know, every area in mm -hmm. the city has a neighborhood that has its own little community, right. but then right. even the broader Pittsburgh community, it's yes. very community driven. Yes. Florida is exactly the opposite. It's like there is no such in thing our as community. Yeah. yeah. From living there, I mean, there is just nothing. The closest thing you get to community, I think, is a gated community, and I don't, even those people, you know, are like, stay in my house and don't talk to my neighbor yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> right, right. So coming here was like, it was a quite an interesting experience for me and, and certainly a good one. That's interesting how you put it. Like Pittsburgh is Pittsburgh, but there's all these different little communities in Pittsburgh, Lawrenceville and yeah. East End and Millville or whatever, but then Greensburg can be considered one of them. Yeah. You're like an hour away, right? Mm -hmm. so that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really nice because the Pittsburgh music scene is, is, is so welcoming. It's such yeah. a wonderful thing to, you know, be able to be a part of it. Really Absolutely. And yeah. No, so much fun. It is. I'm having a blast. We really love mm -hmm. it. Yeah, good. So uh, we were going to touch on the fact that uh, you are an author as well. Like, before yes. we do that, who writes the songs and who writes the lyrics and how does it's that a work? collaborative process at this point. I mean, Karen and I have always written the songs together forever, and because um, it started just the yeah, I yeah, mean, it, started it started just, just the two the, of us. Uh -huh. I mean, RJ's been writing songs, you know, before that. He was in other bands when he was younger and would write some things by himself. But then when we moved up here, he and I started collaborating on the songwriting, uh -huh. and then. Um, I don't know. Our process has probably changed a bit over the years, but it's still pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I think it's generally the same, but it's nice because now effort. as a band, especially with arrangements and everyone writes their own parts, I mean, with some input, you know, all around. But, you know, Robert writes his own bass lines and lead lines and Karen writes the drums and lyrics. And we work on stuff collaboratively, which is which has really been a great process. I think it's helping us expand some of the songs. And we mm -hmm. work on the arrangements together. You know, we all get in a room and maybe I've worked on a part or I have a guitar part or maybe a chorus and Karen will have some lyrics to send me or I've come up with some lyrics and then Karen's like, oh, I Cool. can help you with this, mm -hmm. and so it's mm -hmm. very collaborative. Yeah, That's we awesome. have like we'll have like some jam sessions, and just like, oh, like this is a really great concept for a song, like this chord progression or this lead line or whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. and then it just sort of evolves into a full song from yeah, there. Yeah, Robert's even been coming up with even most you know more formed songs to bring to the band, whereas before it was mostly me and Karen, and now Robert's actually bringing parts to the band too that are like nice. you know the basis of a song. <laughs> yeah, who needs these two? Yeah, right? <laughs> well, that's so, what we're worried about. We're, we're know, afraid that's... that eventually he's going to outgrow. You got us. one more year, and then you're. <laughs> Gonna dip on us, huh? That's Is right. that the plan? Like, <laughs> thanks for the help later. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Deuces, peace. Uh, so let's touch on uh, the authorship. So you're an author and you have one book. Yes, yes. Actually, well, I, I, I was a poet first okay. um, and studied poetry and went to graduate school and, you know, had a few small poetry books published. And then I had a memoir published in 2013. Um, and now I recently just had my first novel accepted for publication. It's going to be coming out 
in early 2020 um, from Grand Central Publishing. So nice. it's a psychological thriller. Um, so I think when I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of um, considering myself more of a novelist now. I think that's the genre I'm going to awesome. stick with. But <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it took me amazing. a lot to get there. How long, <laughs> does it, how long would it take to write a novel? Um, I worked on this one for about four years. Yeah. And it wasn't necessarily like nonstop. You know, I mean, I have day jobs and yeah, right. the band and all kinds of other things right. going on too. But um, but yeah, it took about four years to, to develop this particular book. Hopefully it won't take me as long for the next one. <laughs> Do you, um, or, so is it done? And you're just like, we, we need another year and a half just to... Yeah, well I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be through the fall, um, through the end of 2018 I'll be working on some revisions with my editors at Grand Central. Uh -huh. And then in 2019 it'll basically be pre-publication stuff and working on publicity and the launch and all that kind of stuff. And then they're hoping for it to come out in like February slash March 2020, but we don't know exactly yet. <laughs> Is like the dream or goal to be like, hey, you know, I, I work on this music business a little bit, but <laughs> like, could you picture yourself as a novelist full time? Well, I, I mean, I, I I want to be a full time writer and musician, yeah, so yeah. Um, I would never no, no, give up the uh, yeah, music yeah. stuff. Yeah. But yeah, but if I could have, if I could get rid of all of my uh, miscellaneous sort of right, other right. gigs and just be writing and making music, then yeah, that's the awesome. that's the goal. And the and the, the, the band progressing is just at a pace like a, not leisurely, but like when it comes, right? Like you, yeah. you create music yeah. and. You get invited to be on low budget TV shows. Yeah, you know? why not? So, yeah, we're, it's, yeah. It's, a, you know, it's, it's always, you know, the good thing is, is everybody's enjoying it. So, you know, we work on it a lot, but it's mostly because we love doing it. You know? Right. So, yeah. as long as that's the case, you know, it's, what else that's, can you ask for? That's exactly why I do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear it's you. like a passion and it's fun and mm -hmm. I love doing it. Mm -hmm. And when it gets to be a drag, Later. Time, to, time to change some things around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I appreciate you coming on. You're playing two more songs. Uh, the other two songs, are they off the EP as well? They are new. One of which we just finished recording with Jake Hanner and um, The War. And okay. so that's going to come out as a single maybe in the next month or two. Um, and then we're actually recording some more songs with him too. Um, actually, the Wasted maybe one of the next ones we actually So Wasted isn't even recorded it's yet. It's not even recorded yet. Nice. Right. And have you, play, you played it out live? We've been playing it yeah, live. Yeah, it's okay. been in our yeah. set for a little while. Yeah. yeah. But Jake's the best. Jake's awesome. He's yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah we love like, working with him. <laughs> yeah, and he's still up in uh, up Route 8. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't know the town. Gibsonia. Um, Gibsonia, yeah, yeah. yeah. And in, in the yeah, I, I love Jake. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got awesome. a great studio. Cool. Well, thanks so much, and we're going to listen to two more songs. And I so appreciate you coming. Great. Thanks yeah. for having yeah, me. Thank you, you. Awesome. so much. Thank right you. Right on. So we're going to hear the wall coming up. No, the the war. The war. <laughs> the wall. Why do I have that on my brain? Big <laughs> The war. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 
explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. We have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have.